In this video, I'll be showing you how to get all 45 badges for Metaverse Champions Week 2, so that includes all badges for Striker, Ren, Sparks, and Faye, but make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on this event, and like the video. Let's start off with Striker's team. The first game is Gerald. We just need to escape from one of the three chapters, then we're going to get AJ Striker's crate drop number 2. I suggest voting for chapter 3 because that is the easiest of the chapters, then choose player because if it's a player they can just go AFK, but if it's the bot, you're gonna have to try avoiding Gerald the entire time. But skip the cutscene so that you don't waste any time doing this. So now you need to find things. Just run around and don't go close to Gerald because he's gonna get mad at you. So if someone else falls, like whenever they get near Gerald, you can just wake them up so it is a little easy. But I got the gold key, so now I'm gonna go over to the place where I have to use the gold key, which is this door. And then there's an elevator with a code. So around that house, there are three different letters and it will show them in either a first, second, or third box. So just put that code in the elevator, then you're gonna be able to open the elevator. And then I have a blue flower. So this is probably one of the hardest things or like one of the most specific things to do because you have to get it and then go over and then put it on that bear in the house I was just in. Then you're gonna get this flower, which you can put on the table. Then you're going to need to get the baguette, cups, and also the flower vase. So you can find the flower vase in the room you open with the red key, I think. So right now we're in the area and we got the red key. For some reason, it like duplicated it, but mine just disappeared whenever we went a certain amount of length away from that area. So he used the red key. And then we got more stuff. So the baguette, you have to have flour and then you put it in the oven in one of those restaurants and then you can put the baguette there, and then one of my teammates is getting the teacups right now. So we're just waiting for them to go back over here. There we go, so now if we go over to the event menu, it says claim, so click claim, it says claimed, and then AJ Striker Week 2 award. Next is drop blocks, join, casual, and then it's going to teleport us into a game. You have to wait a little bit of time for it to start, but then it's going to choose a mini game, and then this is where you need to get the shards. So we just wait for it to load. Right now it says waiting for players, so it's loading for everyone. Then it shows a cutscene of what it is, and I already see a shard there, so we gotta get over that shard. And this is actually seeming to be pretty easy. So first we just gotta avoid the cacti, this part is pretty simple, just don't touch the cactus. And then and now we move on to this part, we gotta jump across to this thing, and I kinda missed, but I still was fine. So then we gotta jump across to that, avoid more cacti, and I see the metaverse shard right there. I don't think they even put it at the end, so this is gonna be very easy. So then we just gotta go over here, then go across this one, and yeah, we can still see it, it's just right there. So we gotta wait for this to go down, and then someone was blocking me so I could get up. There are so many people here, I didn't know the servers were this big now, it's changed since I've last played it. So this is the Metaverse shard, we gotta get it. So when this goes up, there we go, collected it, I think. So that is the first one out of five we need. We don't really need to make it to the end, but we can try. So I'm assuming we just need to do five of those mini games and then get far enough to collect the shard. And so this may take a bit of time, but it is pretty simple, which is good. I don't like when the quests are super hard, because some of them are literally as hard as like Ready Player 2 quests when that event had maybe 7 games, and then this one has like 180 games, so I think that the events or the quests in this event shouldn't be as hard as they are, or well, some of them are very hard. Okay, there's another one at the end, so you can actually get 2 per round, you just gotta make it to the very end. Bro, I literally just got pushed, okay. We gotta avoid the boo, and we gotta avoid people pushing. So there we go, we avoided it, and then we just gotta make it past this part. Then we're gonna get a second metaverse shard. So we only need to do two or three mini games actually, and this is in the middle of this thing, so let's just collect it. 
And there we go. So now it pushed me to the end. And we qualified for the next round. I think since this is casual, it's just gonna do a mini game, and it's not really going to matter. Like every round, it starts a new one. Okay, there's the final shard. We just need to go over here and not get hit by the boss. Hopefully, yeah, the boss isn't doing like a really far attack, so we can just go right here. And there we go, we got the shard. So now press H to go back to lobby, and then we're going to be able to buy the thing, because we got five shards, so we have enough to get that, and we just gotta wait for it to load again. Okay, I've opened the vent shop, and then let's buy that purchased and there's the badge third is survive a plane crash it says teleport to plane and then i'm just gonna go over to the front so the name of the game is survive a plane crash and that is basically what you need to do so as you can see there is aj striker's crate and we just need to survive with it so although it says that sea is reserved for flight attendants Okay, Metaverse Champions Plane Hunt, wait for the takeoff. Okay, it's looking decent so far, I think we're above the clouds, and the best way to stay safe in a plane crash is probably sitting in your seat, so I'm just gonna sit down, and then if we look out the window, can't really see anything, so I'm just gonna wait, it's probably gonna take a few more minutes for us to actually crash, and then we just need to survive that. Okay, there it said something again, enjoy the flight for now, I'm just gonna press OK, and I can't really see exactly where we're going. It looks like we are just going straight sideways like an airplane should be. And so it's probably just going to be a little bit of time. We're around halfway done, it seems. Okay, it looks like the plane is starting to crash now. I think it would be best if we actually go to the back. Okay, so we have to grab one of the falling things. So I'm going to press H. And for some reason, it is not letting me. I recommend looking around the plane to try to find things that you can use to help yourself survive. Like, I found a glider, which is probably going to be useful. Like, yeah, now the plane, the person is saying there's no stopping this, we're going into crash. So we're pretty soon going to get the badge, I think. And we can't see the ground yet, but we can see the plane's wings from outside. And they both kind of look like they're on fire. The plane doors can be opened at this time. It takes some time to pry it open because of the pressure. So I guess if we did that, we could use a glider. So I'm just going to spam Q to open the plane door. And then I can use the glider. And we're probably going to be fine now. We just got to land with the plane. And then if I unequip the glider... Wait, I can't unequip the glider. Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep going down. Maybe I should have waited a little bit more time, but we can just land on the ground now, it looks like, and we're gonna be fine. So the plane just exploded. Yep, I definitely am glad I didn't stay in there. So there are some trees. We just landed out in the middle of nowhere, it looks like, and I still have my glider, so we're completely fine right now. And then we just gotta land on the ground, it looks like. So there... The landing worked, and I got the badge. Next is Chaos Clicker. So get 100k clicks, hatch 3 eggs, rebirth once, spin the wheel once, and invite a friend. Brenda must join the server. So I didn't invite a friend, I think. Uh, I think I joined my friend, and it still gave it to me. So I guess you can join a friend. But then, yeah, so I did that one already. Then you gotta spend the wheel, rebirth, so I'm gonna do that now. So just click here, then you're gonna get some clicks. So then, there's the wheel, so I think we just have to go over here and spin it for the quest. So let's see what we get. Maybe a rebirth? I don't know, we got some gems? Uh, but there... So now just three left, rebirth, hatch three eggs, get 100k clicks. So I'm just gonna click this a bit, and we're actually getting kind of a lot of clicks. So I think we're gonna get 100k pretty fast. And then we just maybe need to upgrade something. 
and to rebirth, only 20 clicks. Okay, yeah, that is really easy. So I just rebirthed, and now I only need to hash eggs, get 100k clicks. So while I'm clicking this, I'm gonna try to find the eggs. So there's an egg right here, 500 clicks, very cheap. So let's just hatch some. The first one, and we got a common pet. Second one, and another common pet. Third, and, or wait, that's uncommon. I couldn't really see it that well because it was hidden by that. But yeah, now we can equip pets, and that's probably going to give us a bit more clicks. Times 125. Yeah, that is, okay, there. And we finished. We did all of the quests. It was actually pretty easy. But now you want to go to the end of the portal section. So there's going to be this metaverse event portal. And you just need to go through here. So let's... Okay, now it's teleporting me somewhere. And as you can see, AJ Striker is right there. Now we have to do this obby. So maybe this isn't as easy as I expected. But this obby does look pretty easy. And I'm pretty sure if we fall, we're going to have another try. So we just got to jump over these things. I don't know if they're going to instantly kill you or do damage to you. But just try to avoid them. And... Okay, let's go up here. And then... Ooh, I almost missed that jump. Okay, yeah, this looks like a pretty big obstacle course. So I guess now we need to jump down here on this. And then we can go... Yeah, this is a kind of big obby. Hopefully it's not too hard to do. These jumps are pretty long, though. Like, that was a kind of a very long jump. And then... Yeah, I think we have to respawn to nearest checkpoint. So we can spend 15 Robux to make the obby easier. Okay, there we go, I got to the end, I didn't even have to touch the box, it's just instantly teleporting me back to the Chaos Clickers game. After that is Imposter, you're gonna have to get the crate in every map. So about one third of the time, you're going to have a quest for the Metaverse Champions event on a map, and I haven't had it for like eight times in a row. One of my friends had it for five times in a row, so I seem to be very unlucky with this, but what you want to do is whenever you get it, there's going to be a specific area you have to go over to and then do the quest there. Here's where you need to go on the first map, which is Station. So I'm showing it on the map right now. And so you can press M to open the map and look at where you are, but you need to pull that down. Then it's going to say, please hold. Now just keep holding it. Do not let go. Or I mean, you can probably let go, but just leave it there. But it's going to say release now and you need to make it go up as fast as you can. Like, I think there was only maybe a second or a second and a half to release it. I think there are multiple locations of this on the map, so it's probably not going to be in the exact location where I am. Just go over to all of your tasks. It's going to show, like, exclamation marks or something around the map. And then once you find this machine, then do this to get the crate. So hold it down, and this one's taking a bit longer than the other one did. Then here's one of the locations on the Vulcan map. So you can see it's near the left side, and so let's just do this. So again, pull it down. It's gonna say please hold, and then just wait until it says to release it, and then pull it back up again. Then here's the last one. It's on the Crystal Tundra map, and it's in the bottom left. So you want to go over to the machine, and I already did it here before I started recording this video clip, but do the same thing where you pull down the lever, wait until it says to release it, bring it back up. Once you get all four crates, then you're gonna finally be able to get the crate in the lobby. So this area behind Striker is gonna open up, and you can just touch this crate. Then you're going to get the badge. Next is Be A Toy. We just need to find the four egg pieces. And this map isn't really that big, so they're probably going to be easy to find. The first piece is right here behind this book, and you're able to pick it up by clicking it. And then you can just, like, drag it with you. And so I'm just going to bring it to the middle of the map. And uh, now it's on this loop thing. So yeah, I'm going to try to bring them all over to where AJ Striker is, and that's going to be the easiest. 
Oh, so I just clipped it and I'm still holding it right now. So I just got to bring it over here. And then it's going to be easy because then we can bring them all over there and then assemble them. The next piece is on this counter. So if you go up this red slide and to this bed, or actually this is a bed, not a counter, then you can get this. So pick it up and then let's move it over to where the other piece is, right by AJ Striker at the spawn. So we just got to go over this wall. And by the way, if you're wondering, I kind of spent a Robux to get the superhero thing so that I could move around easier. Then by the bed, there's a drawer and there is a blue piece in it. So let's just get that and then bring it over. And then, so now we're going to only need to find one more piece. So I'm just going to drop it there. And it looks like they already went together. So if you click it, like I just clicked that and it went by the other two. So if you click it while they're by each other, then they're going to like go together. Then the final location is in the corner of the room by the racetrack. There is a ladder that you can climb up if you go to the side of the bookshelf. So let's just go over here. Then this is the helmet. And then as you can see inside of it is a green part. So let's just push that down. And then the green part fell here. Let's get this and then bring it back over to the other parts. Then we can finally put them all together. So as you can see, it's right there. And let's put this in. And there we go. And one of my friends is trapped inside of the egg. So now the crate is there. And we can click that. Then it says quest completed. AJ Striker Week 2 Metaverse Champions. The next game is Car Crash Simulator. It says loops completed. Complete five loop-de-loops on the classic map. You can press play here. And then choose a car. I'm just gonna go with this one because it looks kind of fast and then that is going to spawn you here and so at the end of the map so let's just drive over here this is the loop so you got to go fast enough where you're gonna actually make a loop around and there we go I am not sure if that counted as a loop but that definitely did break my car so we can try again but we're probably gonna have to respawn so just press E click the car again and then do this five times. If you don't make it all the way around, then it may not count. So I'm just going to try this again. Then we're going to check back with AJ Striker and see if he said anything. So let's go back this way. And then hopefully we actually complete the loop. So nope, we went on the side that time too. So let's reset so we can go back to spawn. And then see if we did that or if we need to like completely go all the way through. Yeah, it says zero. So I'm pretty sure it'd be better to choose another car that is not as fast as that one. I'm going to speed this part up because it's just going to be me respawning, going through the loop and then repeating that many times. There we go, I got the badge, it took around 10 minutes for me, I kept missing the loops in the beginning, and then using this car, I got like two in a row, and then I got a third one after I respawned it. So I recommend using this race car, it's the best one, some of the cars won't even go on the loop, it's just gonna like glitch, and just fly sideways or something. Next is Mega Noob Simulator. This is basically just like a simulator. So you just need to go around and then fight things. Like for example, there are noobs right there or bacon hairs. And then there's like a bigger bacon hair over here. So you just need to fight them like any normal simulator game. But let's go over to the Metaverse Champions area. So we just got to stand on this and it's going to open up. So I think it's going to teleport us to an entirely separate place now. And I'm pretty sure you just have to defeat Striker. I don't know how pro he's going to be, but now we're in a public server. So defeat the three elemental bosses and their challenges. Fight and defeat AJ Striker to obtain your reward. Good luck. So we can see there are some fancy doors. And I'm pretty sure they're going to take you to bosses, then you fight them. So it probably isn't going to be too hard. 
that's gonna make you go up. So you just have to complete this small obby on this one. Try not to fall off. Just stay on the vines, go up, make sure you know where you're going. So then if we go up here, and then we're gonna barely make it to this jump, and then barely make it to that one, and then the next one. Yeah, I think you have to be a little big to already do this, because if you're really small, you're probably not going to be fast enough to go over here and make those jumps. So then there's this pad that makes you go up. So I'm actually going to do that so we actually land there. And then this vine is going to take you up, so walk up this vine very carefully. You don't want to fall. And then go up on this pad. Then you are going to go forward a bit. And now there is another door, and I'm assuming the boss is on the other side of that door. So, let's just go inside here. And it looks like we're being teleported somewhere. So it shows me versus this boss, and it actually looks pretty strong. And there we go, victory achieved, and I got the badge. After that is shootout. When you join, there's going to be this area that says challenges. So you can click here, and daily challenge, free collect, 50 emeralds, and... Wait, so you can just... Next is Super Bowl battle. We need to go over to the planet map, so let's vote for the planet map i guess i joined my vip server we got the metaverse champions planet map so it's gonna say metaverse champions above it so whenever you can vote for it make sure you vote for that one if you're in a vip server and it doesn't appear then just like rejoin and if you're in a public server and you don't see it whenever you're voting then either wait until the next round or join a different public server but now we can press play and actually get into the round i am just going to skip so that or never mind i'm not gonna skip i guess so wait, for some reason there are sparks crates, I guess since there are many different teams, yeah there are all teams crates here, but you're actually going to get strikers crate. It says fuel collect asteroids, okay so we gotta get these asteroids and then bring them over to the bins. So I already got two, and I'm guessing like you just have this thing following you and you have to try not to make it make you die so let's just get some more asteroids three is the max so now we got to go back over here and then put them in this machine Okay, there we go. Now there's a cutscene and it is drilling into the ground. So I'm pretty sure my team won. And so we just gotta wait for the cutscene to end. And there's the crate. So I'm pretty sure you're going to get it or we have to touch the crate to get it. But it says crate secured, your team won. So then it's just shiny and that fades away. So there's the badge, after that is make a cake back for seconds. This here is the grab tool, and then you need to select a batter, so I'm just gonna choose this one. After you click it, click this area to put it inside of the rising station, but it says once your cake has reached the end of the first station, you take it to the mixing station. If you go through all the stations, you will have a complete cake. So now if we go to the end right here, where it says output, we can take this one, and then find a place to drop your dessert. So be careful around the stations or you may turn yourself into a cake. In case that happens, you can de with this button. So let's just place the cake inside of the mixing station. Then you want to put it over here, the shaping station. So this is going to turn it from being whatever that is 
into an actual cake. Now we have this. And then let's put it in the hot baking station. Because I want the cake to be kind of hot. But now we got to take the cake. And you have to do this like 10 times. So I want to make... Oh no, grape cake sounds interesting. I'm going to put it there. And then let's go over here. Also, we got to add frosting, I think. But that is the frosting, yeah, frosting station. So great frosting. And then let's take it and put it in... Uh, I'm going to put it in chocolate chips. Wait, bacon bits also sounds kind of interesting. And there we go. So we are done with the 1 out of 10. We got to click over here. And then I'm just going to feed it to this guy. And then we need to make 9 more. So again, the badge did say that you're going to need to make 10 cakes with frosting and a topping. So we already did one with frosting and a topping. So now we have to go through that process a lot. And I'm pretty sure we can make multiple at once. By the way, you can press shift to sprint. So if you don't want to wait all the way going back to spawn. And these will make you go way faster. So let's just go back over here and then make some more cakes. So can we make multiple ones at once? Okay, let's take that one. And let's... Oh, we can! Okay, yeah. I recommend using a VIP server so that people don't try to steal your cake. And then... You can just make a whole bunch at once. So I think we're good. That is definitely at least 10. So now all of them are blocks. We can take them and put them in the next one. There we go, I got the badge, it was actually pretty easy. And last for AJ Strikers, team is base raiders. You have to raid someone's base, and you do that by standing on their raid thing for like 5 seconds. So it's pretty fast, but right now the raid target is going to be chosen in 20 seconds. But I'm pretty sure you can raid anyone's base, even if they're the raid target or not. I don't know why that guy keeps trying to kill me. But I'm going to explode this base with TNT and then try to sneak in from over here so that I can raid it. So let's just put the TNT there. And I think that that guy is the owner of this base. So they're breaking in and we just gotta go inside and stand on the raiding thing for 5 seconds. Oh no, there's a trap. Let me just place TNT. Oh no, he found me. Well, I'm going to try to break back in, and I'm going to speed this up because it's probably going to take a while. Just raid someone's base, and I'm pretty sure this is the raid thing, so stand on it for five seconds. There we go, I didn't raid anyone, but I defended my base while it was being raided, so I got the badge. Then let's go to Ren's team. The first game on Ren's team is copyrighted artists. What you need to do is either win a round, like win the entire game, or just win the Metaverse Champions round. Like, you're gonna have to vote for which one is fake and which one is real. Like, people draw things, you have to copy what they draw, and then other people copy you. So copy three drawings and so i'm just gonna draw like the mana face because that is pretty pro and then i recommend just like if you have friends in your server so if you do this in a vip server it's gonna be really easy i think vip servers are free so i'm just gonna draw a mana face and then you can try to get your friends to let you win and then the next round they can win 
This isn't really good of a man face, but it is decent. So then I'm gonna draw a second man face. So then they're also going to give you points like if you choose which one is real. Okay, that is a nice man face. I'm just gonna say I drew man faces. Why does it tag that, man? Okay, yeah, so when you see the original, click left or press space. Uh, so that is a different thing, I guess. No one got it. So yeah, this is the Metaverse Champions round. So then I got 500 points. You have to get all of these right, by the way. And then that was a copy. I don't know why I selected that. So just choose what the original is and... If you're in a server with your friends, they should draw something that is totally not on topic, and you should draw something completely random. Like, my friends drew dots, so if we see an actual drawing, then we know it's real, and I drew man faces. I don't think I actually got the badge for the Metaverse Champions event, because you have to select all of them right, or you have to win a normal round, like, completely win it. On normal rounds, if you're with your friends, you can draw something, and then if they draw dots, then... You can just like win and then you can repeat that for all of your friends so everyone can win every time or like you can do multiple rounds with your friends and they win and i didn't finish so okay pick the drawing made by the original creator there are three or four rounds of this so it definitely does take longer so i'm just gonna or well my friend voted for the man face so yeah, there, and then I think, or there are a few more people in the server, but now I'm at the top, so you just gotta win this, or you have to get everything right on the Metaverse Champions round. Second is Death Run. Rin's challenge is just reaching the end of any Death Run map, so what you need to do, I guess, just go to the end of any Death Run map, and so you don't need to do a specific map. I thought it was gonna be a specific map, but this is actually a bit easier. So, wait, why does it say I'm currently not playing? Okay, make sure it doesn't say you're currently not playing. And then I have some of my friends in the server, so next round, I'm just gonna get to the end. I recommend voting for the easiest round. So you can see right here, there's a one, two, and three star difficulty round. So I'm going to vote for Pirate Cove. Just click place flag, and that is going to vote for whatever map you're standing on. So again, just need to get to the end. It is kind of like the previous video I did on Unicorn Island Lobby. Except, well, this is, like, a way easier and shorter obby, and so whenever it starts, well, one person is gonna be the killer, and they're going to have to try to click the buttons to stop people from getting to the end. I recommend if you're the killer, so yeah, we're gonna have to try this again next round because it has me as the killer. If you end up being the killer, don't kill anyone so that people can just get to the end, but now we're on another map. So we just have to do this like a normal obby, and one of my friends is the killer, so he's probably not going to kill me. So we just need to go forward on this part, and then just go through the entire obby. I'm just going to speed this up because it takes kind of a long time. If you're doing this in a public server, then you want to try to avoid all of the things here. Like, try to make it so that you trick them into pressing the button there are buttons that the killer can press to activate traps and stuff so just try to avoid all of the traps and get to the end of the obby Okay, there we can see Ren's chest, so we just got Ren's treasure chest number two. Third is seconds tell death. When you join, there's gonna be a screen that pops up, and it is going to say that you need to win a round to get a limited edition crate. I'm in a VIP server with one of my friends, so I'm just gonna kill him. And there we go, so we won and got Ren's treasure chest week two badge. Fourth is Legends of Speed. If you just like run around and level up from collecting orbs, then you're going to eventually get enough to go over here. You have to be at least level 25 to enter this area, and you just need to complete the parkour challenge, it looks like. So let's go over here, 
and it seems pretty easy. I'm gonna go into settings and lower my speed a bit more, because right now I am pretty fast. May take a few tries though, so just try not to fall in the ocean. Definitely taking me a few tries, and I'm probably gonna increase my speed again a little bit, so that... Let's just try to go to the end. I'm setting all my stuff pretty high, so now... Okay, we just gotta land at the end. And there we go! So, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so I can jump right here without it, like, making me go really fast. And so that was pretty easy. If you can go fast enough, you can instantly jump over to the end. And there we go, I got the badge. Next is Goblin Island. Go over to the Metaverse Event Portal, which is right here. So let's try to get through this before we die. And so it's gonna teleport us somewhere, and we're gonna see her in. But we can talk to him. And people can't attack you here, so it's gonna be safe. Hello, fellow goblin, I need your help. Get 10 TK and come back to me, I will teleport you there. TK means total kills, and to earn them you need to fight other goblins. So, we basically just need to go back to the spawn and then fight people there. Okay, so let's fight some people. We take out the leg sword or whatever this is, and check my kills. I have a bit right now, like, I haven't even gotten that many, but for some reason it gave me extra kills and it spawned me as Rin. Okay, we did it, and I don't know why I'm Rin. Maybe it just made me have this Rin outfit because I have enough kills. So let's go back to Rin, talk to him again, he says, wow, you really did it. Well, allow me to teleport you. Best of luck. Okay, so it is probably going to teleport. Yep, it's teleporting us to another game. So you can press play. So this is a house, and we can go inside of it. Then there are, like, doors and windows, and we can't really go through them. But I think we just need to do this obstacle course. So you can't really move your camera, but it is kind of, like, sideways. We finally got to that door, and there is Ren's chest! Up next is Fart Attack. Play three rounds, use 50 burritos, cabbages, and some other stuff. So we're going to have to go into a round to do this. Right now a round is active, and so I can just go over here, and then... Yeah, so you need to get them, and then like, click with it to use it. So we already used a little bit. Yeah, wait, 31, I... I just clicked, okay, well, there's a burrito, and that makes you, like, way bigger, so... Then in challenges, we can use that, and then... Wait, I didn't get that for the challenge, yeah, so you basically just have to play around, and collect things, use them, and then repeat that for a while. You're gonna end up getting bigger, though, like, after you eat more stuff. So if we click with that again... We're already on 34 out of 50 for that, and then there's like a special power thing over here, and we gotta select like the tornado one. So if we scroll through here, yeah it's right here, and we can select it, so that is the one we have to use. Then you can press a 1 to use it, and then we have to use that 25 times. I'm just gonna speed this up because it's going to take a long time to collect all of this, use it, and then complete all of these challenges. You can actually buy burritos and cabbage by going over to the get more menu. I thought it would just be with Robux, but if you already have some cash in the game for some reason, or if you complete this challenge for 500 cash, then you can actually buy more burritos and cabbage, 
and then complete the other two challenges faster. So after this, one more round, then I'm going to get the badge. There we go, the round is over, and it says some information, so if we go back to challenges, then we can see that I can claim that. Then once you claim all of these, then you're going to be able to claim the badge. So claimed, and there we go. And after that is Ragdollsum. All you need to do is take out your combat tool and then walk up to people, click to push them, and then do that 10 times. We need to push one more person. And 10, there I got the badge. Next is Giant Simulator. Slay Borok, 1. Slay Demon King, 1. And Slay 10 Gnomes. So you're gonna have to travel over to the outpost to do that. It's the blue door in the main town. So the main town is right here. Gonna turn up my graphics quality so I can see a bit farther. But the main town right here, we gotta go over to the fancy colored doors. And there are some portals over here, so that's probably what it is. So I'm gonna see if in settings I can turn off it. Nope, I don't think I can turn off it asking me if I want to do that thing. So here, there are some teleports. And so orange door in the middle, Borok, pink door, demon king, blue door, gnomes. So I'm pretty sure bosses were random before this, but they made it easier. Bosses are scaled, so if you do a lot of damage, like you still don't really damage them too much. So, I think we're almost done. Yep, it updates the count there. So, three more. There we go. We did the gnome quest. So, now we gotta go back through this door. And then now we're gonna slay Borok. We do nine damage to him. He actually does a bit of damage. Like I said earlier, he's scaled. So, if you do a lot of damage or are just very good, it's still gonna be hard to fight him. And, wait, no, I do nine for each hit. So, 18 every hit. Now, we just need to slay the Demon King. So, let's go back here. And then, the Demon King is through the pink door. So, let's go through here. And then he is going to be right there. 100 and there we go. You've permanently unlocked the Ren Bright Blade skin. And I got the badge. And the next game is a wolf or other. Complete any five achievements. Yeah, so there are a lot of random quests you can do. And the ones at the bottom are like pretty hard. So I'm gonna just try to do the bronze ones right here because they seem actually very easy. I'd say the easiest ones are Survive One Night is Innocent because that's basically just playing around and you probably have a higher chance to get that than any of the other ones. Then Ringing the Bell seems easy. If you're the wolf, Roaring seems very easy too. Getting the highest point also, standing in the campfire. When once is the hunter, and when once is the wolf. There I earned two badges, so I just shot the wolf once, and then I got shoot the wolf while they're in human form, pick up a dropped crossbow, so I did that. Sage, so you literally get one for completing five also. Prophet, escape with the hidden bag of tokens, I guess that's just like if you find tokens. I didn't even like see any, I don't know why it gave me that. Picked up a dropped crossbow and win the match. So that is basically the same as the other one, so I literally... Oh, that one is last innocent and win the match. So I got two for picking up the crossbow, and then get to the highest point at the Great Manor. So you want to vote for the Great Manor map, like there are going to be maps, and you want to, like, go up to the ceiling. There are going to be, like, stairways and stuff inside, so just wander around, go up as high as you can. Then once you go outside, you want to, like, climb up to the tallest point on it. So, go on the roof, or I'm pretty sure I got it just by going on the roof, but try to go to the highest point on the roof. Next is Natural Disaster Survival. You have to survive three disasters in a row. First for me is Earthquake. We just have to avoid any structures and keep jumping. I may have spent Robux on the balloon, though, so that's gonna make it a bit easier. Oh no, I took damage. Okay, I think we're good just standing on the grass. We just need to stay away from those tall Roblox towers and then all of those other parts over there. So I'm pretty sure you take damage on this map by being hit by other parts. Now we're on the same map again. I survived the first round, by the way, and this time there is a volcano. 
So the safest place to stay is where the glass isn't broken, so I'm just gonna try to stay away from the volcano eruption, but if you get the volcano, just try to stand in a place where you won't get hit by them. The helicopter exploded, hopefully this doesn't fall down or something. Oh no, I'm barely- oh no, it's going down. It is falling down right now, and there I died, so now I'm gonna have to try it- like, where am I supposed to stand, though? That was literally the only kind of high up place, so there is no other option for that, really. I just survived two rounds, and I'm on a third again, so I have to dodge flying objects, so it seems easiest to just stay inside. And it's making it kind of hard to see because, well, of the sandstorm. There, I survived a third round in a row, so that is how to get the badge in Natural Disaster Survival. And the last game for Ren's team is Pet Heroes. Right when you spawn in, there is going to be your Ren. Ren needs your help freeing his long-lost homeworld. Start quest. So then you're gonna be teleported, and it is taking a while to teleport. Okay, there we go. So we are at Ren's area now. So you gotta talk to Ren again, and he says, I need your help to save my kingdom from the forest demons. There's a secret treasure hidden in the forest too. So we just need to fight the forest demons, and then we're gonna be good. So let's go over here, and I already have some pets, or like, heroes, pet heroes, because that's the name of this. So I'm just gonna fight some of these, and I can put three on them at once, so this is gonna be pretty easy. Like, they can kind of instantly kill them, and you have to get stuff to repair the bridge and do certain tasks. So you're gonna have to fight these guys for a while, and they're going to give a little bit of stuff, so I suggest fighting the bigger ones if you've played this game for a bit before, because it's gonna be faster. But there's 620, I just need 1,500. I got the bridge, but before you can get the chest, you want to activate all three statues, so it doesn't matter if you start doing this before the bridge, and after you buy it, you activate the other two, or if you do it afterwards. So if you go from here, and then go this way from the spawn, then you're going to see this statue here. Just press E to interact and activate it. I already activated that one. Then the next one you have to buy the bridge for, so after you cross this one, and by the way you can click one of your animals to mount if they're like level, I think it was a certain level, I don't remember exactly which one, 10. And then the second statue is right here, just press E to activate it, and then, so it's like right across the bridge to the right, and then the third one, well, if you go over here, then you can climb up on this, and then get up here. Then interact with this so that it spawns the stuff for you to jump on. Do this small obstacle course, it's pretty easy, and so then you gotta go over here. Then the third statue is going to be in the room with the chest, so you can see I already activated two out of three. So the third statue, right behind this tree, and then we can activate it. Now we can go over to the chest, and E to interact, and it's opening, there we go, next is Sparks team, the first game is Unicorn Obby World, you just need to complete the obby I guess, just like the obby that was in week 1, so I'm gonna speed this part up, it seems decently easy, you just have to jump over things. Okay, there we go, so at the end you just need to touch the chest. Next is Minery 2. Find three Amethyst and I'll give you a chest. So once we get three, we can just give it to Sparks, and then Sparks is going to make the chest. So, you can get Amethyst just by mining. Ooh, I found some Amethyst, it's right here, it has a bit of health, but I'm gonna hit it a whole bunch. And it, you can see in the bottom right it says Amethyst right there. So there we go, I got some Amethyst, and... I'm pretty sure that just gave me one, maybe it gave me more, wait, yeah, it definitely gave me more, so I guess if you mine one amethyst, then it gives you, like, five, and then you can just go over to sparks. Third is Horse Valley. This badge is awarded to those who earn ten sparks in a single session. A spark can be earned in the following ways, leveling up a rider stat, leveling up a horse stat, 
participating in a race, and crafting an object. So it seems like you can get that by doing many of the main things in the game. And if you're new, there's like a tutorial, which I have never played this before, so I'm going to do the tutorial. So let's go over this person. And then, if you want to become a rider, you first need a horse. The local instructor might be able to help. So press complete. Then it will say your new companion is waiting for you in the stable. So mount your horse, and you can press show health if you don't know how to. So you gotta go over here, and we actually have like the... I'm pretty sure this is what you need to equip the horse. And there is the horse. So mount, and then... Okay, actually... Yeah, so... I think we can walk now, but for some reason it's like a little laggy and kinda delayed. Like whenever I press W, it does the movement like a little later, but now we need to level up stuff. So if we go back to the quest menu, then we can complete that. Train your horse in the barrel racing arena and improve how fast your horse moves. So you can press show help, and that is going to show you exactly where you need to go. I'm going to speed up this part after you do one thing, press the question mark button, and then do the next thing in the tutorial. But we gotta go over here now. And there we go, I got the badge. That was actually pretty easy. Fourth is Disaster Island, and I'd say this is the hardest quest in the entire event for week two. Sparks is going to be right here at the spawn. You can talk to her. She's gonna say, welcome to Disaster Island, a tropical paradise or so it seems I'm Sparks Kilowatt. You must be here to earn my crate for the Roblox Metaverse Champions event. This is going to be one super exciting adventure. To earn my crate, you'll have to survive a rare double disaster or mystery disaster event. So this actually got nerfed a little bit since when it first released. Now you can get it in not only Double Disaster, but Mystery Disaster also. And it isn't as rare. Like it used to be once every maybe 30 or 45 minutes. Now I'd say it's about one of every four rounds. So it shouldn't be too hard to get anymore. But you just have to survive that round. So once you get in, it's going to say what the disaster is after a few seconds. So it says Disaster Volcanic, so that means that it is not Double or Mystery, because for Double it says two disasters are happening at once. It doesn't say exactly which one, so you're going to have to pay attention, which might be a little harder to do. Like, if you know what it is, you can prepare, but if you, like, actually have to watch it, it might take too long, and then you're not going to know what it is, and you're going to lose. So then for Mystery, you don't know what it is, but there's only one. So it seems to be way easier than double. Once you survive the double round or mystery round, you're going to get the crate. Next is Admin House New. If you go over to Sparks, Sparks is gonna say, help me find the chest. From the spawn, you want to go forward over to these rocks, and then it is right there in between them. So just touch the chest, then you're going to get the badge. After that is pilfering pirates. First, you want to go outside of your pirate ship. Then you want to take out your small boat and then place it like right here. By the way, if you go past this blue one, then there are sparks right there. So like go past the blue boat, it might spawn sparks in different locations, but I'm just gonna go this way because this is where sparks is right now, and then talk to sparks. So there's already the chest there, can we just like steal the chest from sparks? Then sparks says, hey, I have a special mission for you, take my launcher and destroy 500 blocks with it for a very special reward, come back to me when you've done this. So now I have sparks launcher, can I destroy my own base's blocks? Nope, I cannot. So, we need to go over to other people's boats, and then destroy them. Although it does very little damage when actually hitting something, like it doesn't really destroy many blocks at all. If you launch it on someone else's base, then they actually, like, well, since they explode, it's very OP to do something like that. Then you're going to get a lot more blocks, so I recommend doing that, and then just explode everyone's base. So it's basically like launching three small bombs at once, which is kind of overpowered. Launching them again right there, that's a pretty good spot. And 499, literally just one more block needs to be destroyed. And 511 out of 500. So I'm pretty sure we have to go back to Sparks now. So I already used my boat, so I'm gonna reset so we can like start over from the beginning with this. 
and then take out the boat again. Don't go in the water because it's going to damage you. Okay, take out the boat. Then we got to go behind the blue base. So there is Sparks. Thanks for your help. Take this badge and gold. So we not only get some gold from in this game. Oh, and keep the launcher till the metaverse event ends. So you get gold, a launcher, and the badge. So... Yeah, let's X out, and there is the badge. Next is Shark Bite. First, you want to go over to the map at the spawn. There's an X right there. It's going to spawn in a different place every round, though. You just need to go over to where the X is, and then go to the ocean floor. Then the clam is going to be there. So, as you can see, there's the lighthouse, then the southeast island, van... And then in the bottom left of the map, there is an X. So we just need to go over there. I rejoined because I couldn't drive anywhere but backwards. And now it's doing it again, but it's automatically driving me backwards. So I have to go over here. It's like along the edge. And so let's just go down real quick and then find the clam. So now we gotta escape from my boat. That won't stop moving and so if we look down here, the crate is going to be around here somewhere very close. Yep, there's a clam right there, and we just gotta shoot it to open it up. Now there is going to be a bubble with the chest in it. So then once that goes to the surface, we need to collect it. So we'll just go over to it. And then we got the chest. Then the next game is Roblox High School 2. I'm gonna be a student. You gotta be one of the student roles because you have to pass your classes. The classes differ each time, but in the top right, you can click this button where it says the time. And it will say exactly what times you have your classes. And I'm assuming you don't get graded for lunch. So you need to pass all five of your actual classes. So first is math. I suggest going over there so that you're on time and don't accidentally miss it. Just go over to whatever your first class is and then teleport there, wait for it to start, do whatever you need to do in that class, and then you're gonna need to do that for an entire end game school day. I don't know why but it changed my classes and now for first period I have performance art. So one second left until it starts. It says flip over the right cards to memorize your routine for the school play. You'll need to remember where each pad is placed or what, where each card is placed. Uh, Flip over every pair of matching cards, and there we go, we flipped over all of the cards once again. Oh, it counted the class I passed earlier when I was joining to see what you need to do for the event, so that means I only need to pass a few more. So that means even if you fail some, you don't have to start again, you just need to pass five, and it can be in different days and game. But it's probably best to pass all five in one day, so it's the fastest. Here we go, I got Sparks Week 2 badge. Next is UFO Tycoon. Fly through eight rings in any UFO to unlock the Sparks badge. This is one of the games I expected to be in the egg hunt, so I played it a bit early and I already unlocked some stuff, but since this is a tycoon, just play it like a normal tycoon and then eventually you're going to unlock the UFO. So just go around, touch the buttons, and then touch the buttons to get more things faster and then you can buy the UFO eventually. So you need to go through A rings, and I see some rings over there, so let's go inside of this UFO. So E to get in, and then you can use these buttons on the side to go up or down, and then we just need to go through the rings. So let's go through this first one, and then that actually gives you some gems. And then we need to go down a little bit for this one, then we can continue. And there we go, we just got Sparks Week 2 badge. Then after that is Trade Lands, which is a kind of hard quest. It doesn't really matter which team you choose, so just choose one. 
Press play. Sparks kill want needs your help. She has misplaced some of her robot parts. Set sail, press M to use your map and sell a piece of cargo at any other port. Then use the robot parts to craft a Sparks chest at a workbench. This will award you the Sparks chest and badge. So then we can press play. There's going to be a tutorial at the beginning, so you can press a G to open your inventory and then use an axe to chop down wood from trees. Then use a pickaxe to mine metal from rocks. Craft tools and weapons at crafting stations. So this is where we're going to need to go to make the chest. Then some items such as guns or cannons require crafted ammo to function. You can store items you don't want to carry in the warehouse. You start with a small boat, but you can speak to the shipwright to build new ones. The shipwright only uses materials that you have stored in your warehouse. The dockmaster will help you spawn a boat on your own. There will be an open ship editor button in the bottom right of the screen after spawning a ship. Use the ship editor to place cannons on your boat. The trader will sell you cargo, which you can deliver to other islands. So this is where we need to get cargo from. Speak to the trader on another island to sell your cargo. So we're going to need to get some cargo from him, go over to another island, sell it to that trader, and then craft Spark's chest with the robot parts. Each boat has a limit of how much cargo it can carry. Form a crew with other players to defend against enemy players. It is dangerous to travel alone. Vendors sell items for doubloons or robux. At the spawn, there's going to be this guy that you can talk to. Press E to interact, then spawn a ship. So choose the bigger one. I haven't played before and I have two, so I'm assuming that everyone has that one. And we just gotta wait for it to spawn. And there. So it is actually kind of big. Don't sit at the cannon, though. You wanna go to the back of the ship so you can actually drive it. But you want to go over to that trader guy now. Turning takes a little bit of time, like, it doesn't really turn that fast. And then once you're done turning, you have to, like, stop turning and turn the other way so that it stops turning so fast. But we just gotta go over to this guy at the spawn right here. So now we're turning the other way, and then we're going to press S to go back a little bit so it stops going as fast. There's this guy. Then we can talk to him. I have a four cargo, so... Or well, four stores so I can get four cargo, and I'm going to buy max eye patches. So they're actually free, you don't have to pay anything for them, you just can get the cargo, and then it's going to go in your cargo hold. If you spawn the smaller ship, it's going to say zero out of zero, and you can't buy anything. So now we have to go to another trader on another island. Okay, so we're just going to go forwards a little bit, and then turn. So I'm just going to keep trying to go forward this way, and then we're gonna go over to the next island. I'm gonna speed this up because it seems to be a bit far away. Okay, we got over to the other island and it didn't actually take that long to get here. So we just need to talk to the trader guy and so E to interact. Then eye patches, cell max, and then you're going to get robot parts and some doubloons for your cargo. This island doesn't have a crafting area, and I think you might lose everything if you reset. Because last time I played, which was many years ago, if you reset, you'd lose some doubloons, I think. So I'm going to go back over to the island, so let's just drive back there, and I'm going to speed this up too, because it's going to take a while to get back. I went to another island and walked around for a little bit, and you can see my boats there. If you go up the dock and then up here, then there's a crafting area. So under Metaverse Event, there's Sparks Storage Chest, which you actually need a bit more than the metal parts. So Robot Parts Quest Item, you need 15 iron, 3 copper, and 2 iron wood. If you go from the crafting area to the back of this island, then there are going to be some rocks. So whatever island you're on, go over to the rocks, and you're going to need to mine them with your pickaxe. Because you're going to need iron, and then once you get iron, you can make the iron pickaxe. Then once you get that, you're going to have to mine some other things, and then you can finally get the sparks chest. So it's going to be pretty hard to do if you're completely new to the game. Or not really hard, just a bit time consuming. To get the iron axe and pickaxe, you need to get 5 iron and 7 oak wood for the axe then 7 iron, 5 oak for the pickaxe. You're gonna need 27 iron in total to make the tools and the chest, because you need the tools to get the other things, you need to craft the chest. Then you're gonna need 12 wood to make the tools, so just chop down any tree, 
So you can literally walk up to any tree in the town, just start chopping it down, then you're going to get wood from that. So I already got one wood, this is gonna take a few more minutes to do. Once you get 12 wood and 12 iron, now you can finally make the iron tools. So the axe, let's craft that, and then let's craft the pickaxe, and there we go. So if we go over to inventory, we can see that the tools are right there. So I'm going to equip this one on the left side and this on the right side. Copper and iron wood are rare drops, so whenever you're mining a rock with an iron pickaxe, you're sometimes going to get copper, and same with trees, whenever you're cutting them down with an iron axe, you're sometimes going to get iron wood. This quest can be very long if you're new to the game, but once you farm long enough and you get 15 iron, 3 copper, 2 iron wood, and one of the robot parts, you can finally craft Spark's storage chest. So let's make that, then it will give you the badge, and last for Spark's team is free admin. Get 25 kills with a gear to get the secret crate, so you can get any gear, there's a wall of gears over here, and you just need to get 25 kills. So let's click that, and then get a kind of good sword, and then there, we can instantly get kills. And I already have two, can you kill Sparks? Nope, you can't. So I'm just gonna kill my friends. Anyways, that's how to get the badge. It's gonna say that you got the badge, and then you're gonna get it. So it's pretty easy to do. And last, let's go to phase team. The first game is World Zero. What we need to do is defeat meta goblins in the open world, and then they're going to give us meta shards. Then we need to redeem 32 shards for the badge. It's not on the daily quests menu, so just X out of that, but at the song, there's gonna be an area that says Fei Yoshida. So what you need to do is go over to Fey, and then Fey is going to say, destroy meta goblins in any world, gather metaverse shards, bring them back to Fey for your reward. So basically what I just said, and then you need to click 32, then you can press claim. So we just need to go over into the open area and then find some meta goblins to fight. So you can just wander around the map, find meta goblins. I found one, so this is what they look like. They have a pink sword and they're kind of like blue and purple fades. So if we go there, then we just collected the meta shard. I should probably also mention, if you need to get better at this to fight the metaverse goblins, then you're going to need to play this game normally. It's basically like dungeon quests, so just go to some dungeons, get some better loot, and then fight the metaverse goblins, but this is actually kind of easy. I'm already at 12. There we go, I got all 32 metaverse shards, so let's reset so we can go back to spawn. So just go back over to Faye at the spawn, and then there. So now I press claim, and it says completed quest, then you get the badge. Second is fishing simulator. We have to go over to Cyber City and talk to Faye. The balloon guy is over here, so we gotta walk over to him. So like right at the spawn, if you go forwards and then turn left, there's going to be this guy, and he can help you go over to that island pretty fast. So press E to talk to him. He's going to say, do you need to fly anywhere? Click yes, and then click Cyber City. So then the balloon is going to go over there, and you are going to teleport here. So now you ought to talk to Faye. Faye is right here. E to talk. Hey there, I'm Faye. Are you looking for the mystery box? Yes, I've been trying to get my hands on it as well. I heard that it's located in the bank over there, but I haven't been able to get into the vault. In order to get in, you'll need to obtain a security card. I was on top of the tower behind me earlier today, and I saw a security guard who looks like he works at the bank. Maybe he could help you out. Good luck. So, we have to get over to that tower, which it looks like we can just walk across these areas. Hey, I'm Wells. How can I help you? Do you work at the bank? Yes, I'm a security guard there. Would you mind giving me a key card? Why do you need one? I heard there was a mystery box there. Oh, everyone's been asking me about that. I'll tell you what, I'll give you the card, but it won't come easy. I've been wanting to get my hands on some of the fish swimming around in the rivers below, but I don't have a fishing rod. If you can catch me 20 of those fish, I'll give you the card. So now we can see there's a quest, and I have to bring 20 Cyber City fish to that guy. So we're gonna have to... Or wait, can we go fishing from up here? And, um, the fishing rod is going up, so I don't think it's supposed to do that. 
Uh, we can go fishing from up here, and I can actually, yeah, so you don't even have to go down there, don't go down there, or else you're gonna have to climb all the way back up. It took a bit of time, but we got 20 fish, so let's talk to this guy again. He says, wow, all these fish look amazing, thanks, as promised, here's the security card to the vault. So now we gotta go over to the bank, which is right there. So now, this looks like it's the vault, so E to enter bank vault, and then we have to do an obstacle course. So there's gonna be a laser, just try to avoid the laser, just jump over it, and then keep going. Oh, oh I almost got hit by it, that wouldn't have been good. No, okay, I just barely touched the laser, I was literally at the end and it sent me back to the beginning. So make sure you don't touch the lasers, it's not a good plan. Then we can go up here, jump over these lasers, and this actually doesn't seem too hard, which is good. Fishing Simulator always has good events. So then there is the vault, and Faye's chest is inside of here. So E to open, then you're going to get the badge. Third is Field Trip Z. Go over to one of the buses, and then just go inside of it and wait for the round to start. Now, here is how you get it in the round. So, all you need to do... Literally just join around. You're gonna get it instantly right when you go in. But yeah, it says one second and then it's bringing us here and then it is loading the game currently. Then right when it does this cutscene, you're gonna get the badge. Fourth is S Goto de Sao Paulo. Still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right though. This is kind of like Tower of Heck but sideways, so you need to collect 10 batteries and 5 drill bits. Some of them are on the obstacle course, so just go through it, and you can see right here there are two batteries, so let's just collect them. And I'm gonna speed this up because this is kind of a long obstacle course. The rest of the parts are at the spawn, so when you're here, just look around the spawn for parts. I'm pretty sure they spawn in the same places for everyone. So one of them is by these trash cans, and then let's collect that. Then one of them is by the leaderboard, and to the other side of the leaderboard. Like, all of them are pretty easy to find, none of them are that hidden. So then we see another battery right here, and then on this side of the spawn then i'm pretty sure there's still like yeah another battery here and then another drill part so i'm pretty sure that is everything we need so let's go back over to Faye. yeah all five out of five drill pieces 10 out of 10 batteries so complete then Faye says thank you very much here's your reward fifth is don't press the button for Faye is going to be right at the spawn, so just talk to Faye. There's a button in the middle of the map, and whenever you press it, an event is going to occur, so certain events have Faye terror crates in them, so we just gotta wait until that happens. So just keep pressing the button, or waiting for other people to press the button until Faye's terror crate spawns, then all you need to do is collect it before anyone else does. Okay, got another map with a chest, so a hidden chest is located somewhere in this map, Okay, we just go over to it, and it reset me. There we go, we got the badge, so it was actually pretty easy. Sixth is Flood Escape 2. Once you're at the spawn, you're gonna have to go over to the Play Here area, and you have to collect 10 pages. They spawn in random locations around maps, and you can only get one per map. It's gonna be easiest to get six from the easy maps, and then four from the normal maps. Run around the map, and look for a page, then collect it if you find it. To get the normal maps, you have to win easy maps, and that will increase the intensity, and then once the intensity is two or higher, you're gonna have normal maps. So, on the easy maps, notes are right out in the open, like, they're not really hidden at all. Like, for example, on this map, it's right there, so if you're just paying attention and looking around a bit, 
then you're going to find all of the pages on the easy ones. On the construction normal map, the page is right behind this crate, about halfway through this obstacle course. After you find the pages on 10 maps, then you're going to get the crate. Seventh is Pit of Heck. You just have to wait until two towers go by. So it says Towers Till Metaverse, and then as you can see, it says Tower Owned Classic, five minutes. So you're gonna have to wait about 10 minutes before you can do this. If you join a public server, some of them might be on the Metaverse Champions Tower. A screen is gonna pop up saying you need to get to the bottom of the Metaverse facility, and so now I'll just do the obby. I'm gonna speed this up because it might take a little bit of time. After you touch the crate at the bottom, you're gonna get the badge. Eighth is Mech Warzone, which is kind of hard. It's probably the hardest quest on Phase T. Maybe Flood Escape 2 is, both of them take a bit of time. All we need to do is reach rank 25. So when you spawn in, go over here to the loading dock. So you can go faster with this line and then go inside of the spaceship right here. I waited a little bit, and now I am out of the spaceship. So I landed on this thing, and there are two teams, red and blue. So I'm pretty sure you just need to, like, shoot other people, and then they shoot you, but you have to shoot them more. And then if you do good, then you're gonna level up. So right now, it seems this game mode, or in this game, you have to go over to these certain points, and then just like collect them so yeah if we stand here it's slowly going up for blue there my team won so we just gotta go over to that spaceship and so you can actually use your jetpack if you like hold down a space while you're in the air so yeah it's going down and we have about 30 seconds to get on it so let's just go over here you just have to play this game for a bit and the better you do in rounds you're probably going to get more xp You just need to keep farming until you get to rank 25, then go over to Phase Crate at the spawn to collect it. Ninth is TPS Street Soccer. This is a soccer game, so you can tap to dribble, and then you just have to score it in their goal 10 times. VIP servers here are free, so the best way to do this is make a VIP server, invite one of your friends or an alt account, and then just have them let you score 10 goals on them, and if one of your friends joins and they need the badge, then you can do the same afterwards. There we go, I got the badge. 10th is Saber Simulator. Right when you spawn in, there's going to be a portal and you want to go over to it. So it says Start Mission, and then it will say Gameplay Pause, and then it's going to teleport you here. So you have to do three things, defeat 10 Plasma Golems, defeat the Plasma Boss, and train to level 5 Plasma. 
So what you need to do, well, the Plasma boss is right here, and you're going to automatically have a saber if you haven't played this game before. So then you just need to attack the Plasma boss. And then you can see some of my friends in the server already got it low. And there we go. So if we click this, defeat the Plasma boss, one out of one. The Plasma golems will just spawn out of the air. Like, they're going to be on this platform that the Plasma boss is on. And I think they only spawn three at one time. So then you're going to have to wait for more to spawn, and if you just attack one of them, I'm pretty sure you're going to get the assist for it no matter what. Here's how you level up Plasma. Go over to this button right here. Like, once you stand on here, it's going to convert, or it's not going to convert it, but it's just going to show your Plasma instead of your coins and crowns. So go over here, click this button, and then it says you can level up for 1, then level 2 is 4, then level 3 is 7, so you just get more by fighting the golems and then the boss. Let's level up to 5, level up, and then I only need 13 for 5, so I have a few left. But then we get level 5, and go back to this menu. Then it's going to say reward, phase mystery box, collect, and there we go. And the 11th game is what do you quiz, which is the last quest you're going to need to do on phase team. Guess three answers correct. So you need to... Like, someone's gonna go up there, they're gonna have two options, and if it's your friend, they can just tell you which one is right, and then you have to select the right one three times. So, it is going to start again in 15 seconds, and VIP servers are free, I recommend doing this with a friend, so that they can just tell you which one's the right one, and then you can vote for that one, and then you can tell them which one's the right one, and they can vote for that one. So, I'm gonna go to correct, and I already have two out of three, because I was joining here to see if it worked, but yeah, it does. So I just need to get one more, and my friend wrote no and correct here. So I'm standing on correct, and there we go. I got it right, and I got Faye's chest. So that's how to get all of the crates in the Roblox Metaverse Champions event for week two. So make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on this event. Like the video, join the Discord server linked in the description. Follow my Twitter at Telanthric, use star code Telanthric to support my channel, and linked in the description is a playlist called Roblox Metaverse Champions Guide. I already showed how to get all the crates in this video, but it has some other guides and information on this event on it. So check that out if you want to see more information and stuff. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video video.